thank you to everybody who sent us their pictures of cats or had a go at Greyfriars Bobby yesterday. We really loved seeing those. Um, today we've got a really, really nice um, rose for you. Rose, so you either go for a very simple rose or a slightly more complicated one with rose hips on. Um, we really think that you'll like it. Um, let's get to it. So I'm going to do my rose with its, and it's a, it's a kind of autumnal rose and it's a wild rose. I'm gonna have the flower here in this part of the paper and then coming out here, the rose hips, which is like the berries that come from a rose at the end of its um, season. So I'm gonna start, and it's not a circle that we start with. It's a small line with a semicircle on top. So if you start with that, and then we're gonna take the first petal out here like this. Each petal's slightly different. I want you to come up and out for the first one. I'm just going to take the lines down to divide it up first. We've got another line here, a line coming from there, and then the last line is going to come from there. So that splits it up so we can see how these petals are going to um, go here. Now here, we've actually got a divide there, and we've got a divide there as well. The others are going to be more joined. So this first petal, I just want you to join it. This doesn't matter too much if it doesn't look exactly the same, but join it like that. Coming round, we've got this little dip in the centre and round. It's a little bit like the buttercup that Elizabeth did last week, isn't it, Elizabeth? Yeah. Where we've got that dip coming in there. And the same from here. Dip. Now on this one, I just want you to come in slightly, dip out and down. And that's the first stage. So if you pause and start with our little semicircle. So now we're going to put in these little rose hips here, these sort of berries that come off the rose. And I just want two thin lines coming around that way. And then if you think about this shape, look how I'm holding my pencil incredibly loosely. Think how you want this shape coming out. It's almost like a balloon shape, really, an upside down balloon coming around and then take it right in here. Right in and then out and out. And then it's like a little crown almost there. And we're going to do exactly the same here. So a small shape here. Coming in, and coming in, and then that at the end, so a little bit different there. So if you pause and pop those two shapes in. So all we need now is the leaves, and I'm not going to put the inside of the leaves, I'm going to do that later with the pencil. Um, the watercolour pencil, all I'm going to do is put each leaf in and you can see the edge of each leaf. What I'm doing is I'm just wobbling my pencil slightly. There's nothing really. So rather than it being a straight edge leaf, we've got this wobbly edge and the looser you hold your pencil, the easier it is to get that effect. So I'll just go like this, to get another leaf, another one here coming out like that, wobble, wobble, and then one here, and then the very last one there. And that is our drawing. So I'm now going to use my watercolour pencils to paint it. now using my watercolour pencils. I've got four colours here, pink, a red, a green and a yellow and just a little paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is with this, I'm going to go around each petal and I'm going to put the pigment on the paper here. So it looks like I'm outlining it, but it's not. This is the paint pigment going down. I'm going to put a little bit there and I'm going to put some spots in the middle. And I'll show you what I'm aiming to achieve there. So making sure my brush is clean, I'm going to touch bit too much water there. Touch the outside edges, 
to bring in the color like that. It's a lovely, delicate, pale pink. I think this is like a wild rose, a dog rose. It's one of my favorites. You see it in the hedgerows and some I'll look out for it. And we're gonna come around like that. And now I'm gonna very quickly, you can take your time here, but I'll do it quite quickly. I'm gonna just do the other petals in exactly the same way. And each one with a little extra bit of pigment there at the top. And then some of these little spots here at the bottom on each one. And then I'll go pick up the pick up the paint pigment. And take that round so it covers each petal. I don't really want that to look as if it's a a line it's really is just a matter of means of me getting the pigment down onto the paper so I'll just make sure that those lines have really cleared and try to avoid going over the middle bit because we're going to paint that yellow so that's me going in with some water there okay so that's our rose done now let's do the same with up here with the rose hips I'm going to go like that just at the end Take it round, but differently this time, I really want a lot of pigment on. And what I also want is a couple of highlights. So do some shapes like that, then go round them. Can you see how much pigment's going on the paper there? And I'm gonna do exactly the same here. So taking my red kind of to there, there's no definite line. I've done a kind of squidgy line there. And two highlights in. And then I'm going to turn those to paint. Now you will see the difference in colour because of the amount of pigment I put on there compared. So if you compare that with the rose, you see how much darker it is. So with the watercolour pencils, if you want to get that effect of it being very dark, just put plenty of mark on it. Make a really heavy mark. Press quite hard with the pencils to get that pigment onto your paper. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just come in here and just do at the edge of each of these. I'm just going to put that and I'm going to have a tiny bit of red. When the red and the green mix together, you see, they'll make a brown. And I'm going to do the same here. And again, just a touch of the red there to make a brown. And I'll turn the green first and then I'll, I'll add that red bit in. So we've got there coming through. So green first, then the bit that I want to be brown. Can you see that as soon as I touch the green and red together, they'll mix. So you can mix colours with the paint paints as well. And then all that's left to do is to put in the stems in each of these leaves. And in each of the leaves, I also want you to put a little line down and put the veins in. And if you, you can do that, making sure your brush is really clean because it will have red pigment on. There we go, that turns out very quickly and that one. But as I go over the leaf, you can see the leaf will turn green, but it will keep those veins on. Now, if you're interested in these pencils, the pencils are brilliant, brilliant way to paint. If you go to our website, thelittleartschool.co.uk, um, and then go to the bit that says Daily Draw and Shop. And on there, if you click on there, you can order these pencils on our online shop. And I'm doing this on watercolor paper because it's just much more effective. Although it's really nice to do it in a sketchbook so you keep them all together. And the... Um, Sketchbooks we sell have watercolour paper in them, so that the, our watercolour sketchbooks are really effective for this. So I'll try and do these super fast. I'm just collecting that paint in and taking it in there. And, oh, a bit of pink because I hadn't let it dry there. I'm not going to worry about that too much. And then finishing it off, by doing the yellow in the center. And I'm not gonna turn that to paint, I'm gonna leave it like that. And that's my little rose with rose hips.
hope you really enjoyed that. It's a lovely relaxing lesson sometimes sitting and drawing flowers. Uh, tomorrow we've got, it's Wednesday and we always like to pull something a little bit special out of that on Wednesday. So we've got a really nice, we were really overwhelmed by how popular Aristocats was. Everybody loved them. So we're going for the same kind of era, but instead of cats, we're going for dogs. And tomorrow we've got Lady and the Tramp. Mm -hmm.